Hey, what's going on, everybody? I just started a new playthrough on State of Decay 2. And I've been in standard mode for a couple days. I'm going to get ready to move to dread mode here. I always uh, start off in um, standard for a day or two so I can recruit at least a couple people so I can move to a bigger base right away and to get a few supplies. So we're pretty well stocked up. I've got a couple people recruited. <laughs> Just had a juggernaut attack us here. You like the smell of sitting there next to his foot? He's in mourning. Clyde's in mourning. The juggernaut was his uh, nephew. He had an obese problem. Alright, so let's get ready to move here. Yeah, we're going to need some overtime on this one. Hey. <laughs> she just like staring through the window. What you doing out there? Creepy. Okay, so I was thinking of taking the police uh, station base. Uh, Undead Labs would come up with some more either missions or a new map or something to make the game not so boring, I should say. It's not really boring, it's just that for those of us like myself that have played since launch, I mean, I kind of like to get some a new quest or new environment to play on. I know these maps like the back of my hand at this point. Just having one extra map would add a lot to the game because it's just another map you can put in the rotation and you know, change the maps. So. You know, if we had five or six maps, 
it wouldn't feel uh, as monotonous. It needs new just about everything, but it might be the right place for us. Let's be careful. There's a few nearby. It's been a while since I've been at this base. I forgot it comes with 25 storage for all resources, so... That's nice. And I do know, yeah, we can make some ammo here. 9 mil, 45... Shotgun... Okay, let's put our shop out here. I think we'll make a little safe zone area. Use an outpost. Learn to listen to your fear. That's your humanity talking. Fear puts you up on a ridge with good sight lines rather than down in the You got a hostile enclave over here? Look, we all need to learn how to kick some ass. How about we build a fighting gym? For now, I guess we're gonna make this espresso. What about that food stand? Isn't that right here? And we're all done here. Okay, let's put medical inside. Yeah, it makes sense. One more outpost, ready to go. This is gonna come in handy. 
Yeah, that that works good. I was thinking we could do the medical clinic over here too, or the. I think there's a food joint there. And then maybe the house or the warehouse over here. Is that it? See if we can find some coffee or cappuccino. Bandages. This is one problem I have with the game, like see that guard tower? That's one cool thing about this base is it has its own overlook tower, watchtower, but I just wish they would utilize it. Like you have zombies just like stroll into the base. And that shouldn't happen when you constantly have someone up there. They should be shooting at them as they approach and not once they get inside. We're making too much damn noise around here. They're gonna wake the dead. Another perfect supply run by me. We got Bruno, he's our mechanic. He's got three morale bonus. Clyde's is really good. I mean, he's uh, our computer guy and he's got a 15% minus uh, radio cooldown. So any of our radio options we use, uh, we'll be able to reuse them more often. And what's funny is when I, f I think it's Avani, when I found her, I looked at hers, hers is the same. So I think these are stackable. So I believe it's gonna be 30% total for radio cooldowns, which is really good. Liv, she's, uh, I found her, she's uh, got pathology. She's got plus five max stamina for personal strength for the whole group. And then uh, Zoe, She's got plus five max health for the whole group. She she has sewing. Someone just showed up on our doorstep. We should probably hear him out. Mysterious stranger. So, we don't have anyone for a hero yet.
How's it going? Smart choice. So we gotta take down some bloaters. Need a lighter load soon. Watch it. We got a plague carrier out there. Sharp, zombie, whole lot of them all around. Oh, goody. Some good stuff in there. <laughs> Bloater ahead. Better kill it quick. A bloater. So gross. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was funny, we almost died. these bloater uh, grenades that she gave us on uh, that enemy enclave that's next door. Find useful stuff. Why can't everywhere be this quiet? That's a lot of stuff. What else is new? Sounds like all words out there.
see if we can find another car around. I hate crowds, especially zombie crowds. That's enough looking around for now. Juggernaut here. I found some useful things while I was out. Breather. Check. Did she get blood plague from that? Okay, she just got infected. I was worried because she, she took quite the pounding there.
So we'll switch and let her rest. Well, her... I thought her health, uh, or her infection meter would be very close. It's not even half. So that's good. That jug... He hit her quite a few times. She was standing right in the blood. Okay, we'll let her heal. I'm gonna... I've been trying to arm, uh... My survivors with more silent weapons like crossbows. Give him that 50 uh, BML I got. All this weight's gonna BML. slow me down. 50 FG. got a silent weapon on her so other than Bruno's got the 50 FG that's kind of that's loud everyone else got a silent weapon stay back from the cloud I don't want to use zombie because they're so close to our base. I don't know if all them Zeds might head over here. forgotten what we talked about. That's my last magazine.
got an offer to make you guys. Can we talk here? Or <laughs> hide behind them. Muzzle that screamer. I bet we could hold off a horde from inside this place. Time for an outpost. So is there only two? I thought there was three. Another outpost secure. We're in business. Now that's quite a load. This weight's going to slow me down.
there he is. I was thinking there was three. I knew I got one with one of the grenades, and then I, uh... I think I got I two of them that. with the grenades. It's a bomb. That other gal I had to shoot. There's a group of arms dealers nearby. Nice. The prices are high, but the selection is huge. Maybe we should check it out. Sounds good. This weight's gonna slow me down. It's stuff like that that makes me not want to play Nightmare or Dread because I get so sick of the bullcrap with the zombies avoiding other humans and you know the enclaves fight, but then your followers and your people you know they won't fight though this controller man acts funny sometimes Trying to decide if I want to build a garden or a generator. See people, this is what I've been talking about. We can use one of the large slots for a farm, maybe. Almost out. And I'm thinking if I put, we could either use the house for extra beds. I have to check that warehouse building might not be a materials. It might not provide materials, I'm not sure. Some do, some don't. If it doesn't, we could probably just take the house. It gives us two extra beds. Anyone out there? There is a barn here that help. would provide food. But uh, I don't know if the radius of the range would give us a good safe zone or not, I think there's going to be a gap if we go that far out with the taking the barn. Not that that's a bad thing, I mean a little gap is fine, but I would like to clean that clinic or the food over here because that would definitely give us a nice safe zone area. If we can, if I could get, end up getting like six outposts and using four of them here, that would be awesome. Or here and then one of these. What's 
this car? Utility truck. That's all for this episode. I'll uh, continue this uh, probably more tomorrow or Tuesday. Thanks for watching.